What's going on everybody on YouTube is SVT Vasquez back at it with another video back at it with another banger man in today's video We're gonna be building a Ikea TV stand. Let's start the show I'm on TV. Oh shit first cops now this oh man I'm be a star son Welcome back everybody to another video um, I have pre-recorded this video before but my audio quality was really bad. I don't know if something's wrong with my external mic. Right now it's unplugged and I'm trying out my camera mic for um, indoor purposes. Hopefully it works just fine and the audio quality is better than my external mic. I'd have to get that figured out. But as for today's video, like I said, um, first of all, I'm going to talk about uh, IKEA and my experience. Uh, this is the first time I've purchased something from IKEA. Uh, I've never actually been to the store before, but uh, this deal uh, was um, the best deal I could buy uh, find online. I was looking for a TV stand that uh, had uh, multiple drawers and had a setup for. Um, uh, multiple gaming consoles since I do have a couple um, and I needed storage for uh, my games my remotes all the extra components that come with owning uh, various consoles and I found just that with an IKEA um, TV stand and uh, as far as my experience uh, IKEA is a very very different uh, kind of store not a store like I've uh, ever been to before myself um, if you haven't been to Ikea before, it's pretty much um, a bunch of rooms that are set up with their um, furniture, with their um, products, and you pretty much walk through, you see the, the serial number that they have, and then once you walk through all the rooms, there's a warehouse type setup, and you look for those products yourself, and then you go and pay for them. But... Uh, you can't get through Ikea um, just for that one product that you go for. You have to go through the whole entire store like a maze to get to the end, which uh, takes very, very long. It's a big, really big store, the one that I went to. And it, especially with uh, if you have kids, uh, it makes it a little bit more difficult. So um, the experience was uh, weird, and I don't think I'll go uh, to Ikea very often. Um, I didn't know what to expect as far as the quality, but um, the furniture is actually not bad. Uh, I expected less quality uh, furniture and the TV stand. Um, I would say when you install these things, uh, the wood isn't top quality wood. Um, it seems to be uh, recycled wood. So um, my suggestion would be uh, when you do start putting the, the um, furniture together, don't use power tools or else you're just going to rip right through the wood and your screws aren't going to be uh, tightened as well as you if you did it by hand. If you do it by hand, you know exactly when to stop or um, so you don't go too far with the hardware. Other than that, um, the sliding drawers, uh, they aren't uh, the best, but they'll do. I mean... Uh, it's me using the, the TV stand. I'm not going to be too rough with it. I'm not going to um, mess around and uh, break it. Uh, I know I know what I have. It's not the best quality furniture, but um, it'll get the job done. Uh, let's see the finish. The finish is... Uh, it's, a, it's got a good finish. Now, obviously, for the price that you pay at Ikea, you get a very... Um, you get a very good price, but that uh, goes to say is you're going to be putting the furniture together. And um, if you shop at Ikea, you're going to go in knowing that um, the packaging for the, for the TV stand, it was very well packaged. There was no damage to my TV stand. And um, the instructions, um, I would say the instructions just need a little bit more help because they don't label each piece as A, B, or whatever. You just have to look at the instructions and then match it up to the panel uh, and they'll show how many uh, drill holes each panel has and they show it 
how it should go in the picture so you kind of have to guess sometimes some panels are similar and you just have to count the holes and which way they go if the bigger holes go on top or they go on bottom based on the picture so that's the only way you know which panel is which by counting and uh, try to matching it up for the picture it doesn't necessarily say panel a goes with panel b and then there's a sticker on the panel you pretty much have to guess and look at it, the image that's the only thing that took me a while it took me about four hours to set this uh, furniture piece up I was taking my time I was uh, uh, I didn't want to rush it I didn't want to ruin the furniture and um, other than that uh, I would say I'm very happy with my purchase uh, it looks good it gets the job done like I said it it um, holds what I need it to hold. I feel very comfortable with the strength of it with having a, uh, I have a 65 inch uh, TV sitting on it right now and there's no issues, there's no wobble. Okay guys, so here is the finished product. That is a 65 inch Samsung TV on top of that TV stand. So as you can see, there's still a little bit of room on top of there. I believe you could fit up to a 70 inch to a 75 inch uh, with no problem. The TV stand strength is actually really, really good. So I have no worries of the weight of the TV on top of the stand. Um, let's go over my setup real quick. As you can see, I have the Destiny Edition uh, PlayStation 4 here with my headset. And I put in the Batman Vegeta Funko Pop in there. Uh, behind it is um, my uh, charging dock for my uh, remote. And then in here would be all my... Uh, PlayStation 4 games. I have been playing God of War. Uh, these are the rest of my games. Over here we have the Xbox 360 with another Vegeta Funko Pop. And I don't have that many 360 games. I don't play that game very often. And here are some of the Blu-ray movies that I own. Over here we have the Nintendo setup with my Nintendo Switch and then my Nintendo Wii as well as another Vegeta Funko Pop. And here are my Nintendo Wii games as well as my Nintendo Switch games. So as you can see it has plenty of storage. Uh, the setup came up really really nice. The Probably the only hard thing is going to be that it is a black um, furniture and you'll be able to see dust accumulate so you'll have to clean it a lot. Um, the TV sits on it really nice. The setup is very very clean. Uh, like I said it does have uh, holes in the back to route your cables. There's one on the left side and one on the right side for each drawer. So the setup is very very clean. There's no cables that you can see, and uh, I'm very happy with the purchase. Let me know what you guys think. So that's going to do it to, with today's show, guys. Um, I hope you guys uh, liked the TV stand. I very much liked it. It was only $130, so that's a great deal for what I need it for. 
Uh, my next video is going to be my couch that I purchased from uh, Coddle Me and um, I'll be posting that here soon. Hopefully the audio quality that on that is way better than this video. But if until next time, peace. I'm just all about this money. I don't think about no thighs. No Girl, you don't know about me. So me. get off my fucking D. My Born D. and raised in the thigh. This is real as you gon' see. You see. Girl, you don't know about me. So me. get off my fucking D. Get off my